Hi everyone, it's Michelle from It's Our Turn Dot Style and I'm ready to celebrate spring! Finally, spring is here! And one of the best things about spring is Easter and the different decorations. It's just the rebirth. It's absolutely beautiful. And what I have here are some beautiful flowers, soil. I love the smell of soil. Even when I was a little girl, my mom used to take me to the nursery nearby. It was called Kyle Brothers. It was in New York and Bayside. Fantastic. And I love the little old lady named Annie that used to work there. She uh, barely spoke English. She was from Germany and we just, I loved her because she just, she exuded nature. I loved it and the smell of the hot house. It was fantastic. I use that word, but that's how you describe it. But what I'm doing now is um, I'm going to make an Easter basket for my friend. Here's my Easter basket from the dollar store, one dollar. Can't beat that! So it's a pretty little basket and my friend is having me over um, for lunch, uh, an Easter brunch, and I want to bring her something very nice and she loves flowers as much as I do. I don't know if you can love flowers more than me, but she's a close second, if not equal. So, the project ingredients, or things that you will need for this craft, keeping it simple, sister, project, is your Easter basket, your soil, and some beautiful plants. And then when we finish that, I'm gonna show you a little extra stuff, what I'm gonna make for her three little girls. So, this is what we're going to do. Our Easter basket, it's just like a container plant. What I need to do is I'm going to put a lining in here, which is a plastic bag from a store. Any supermarket bag will do. Put it just along the sides, bottom sides. And what it needs to do is the plant needs to drain when you water it. Otherwise, it'll get soggy and moldy and it'll ruin, kill the roots basically, which kill your plant. You don't want to do that. So what I do is I take a scissor and I just make some cuts. Make some cuts that go all the way through so that it will um, drain. Don't cut your finger. That would be bad. Okay, now that that's all done, I have little holes all through it. I don't know if you can see. See my holes? And now what I do simply is put in my soil. What's really cool about this basket is you can have it on the table, which is beautiful, or put it wherever you want, make it your display somewhere. I'm only going to fill that halfway up, maybe a little bit, a little bit more than halfway because I need to leave room for the soil that's surrounding the roots of the different plants. You can also use it hanging somewhere. Oh, beautiful. So here's our basket, and I chose these pretty plants. I love purples and pinks and the greens and these little white flowers. So pretty. Kind of reminds me of lace. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my the largest plant that I'm using um, as the tallest plant in the basket. I'm going to put that in first. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rub, kind of like massage, nothing beats a good massage, the bottom so I get out the extra soil but the roots are there. So I'm going to transplant that into the middle of my little basket and it's wobbly but don't you worry, got my other plants to go around and then I'm going to add more soil. So just going to put, look how it came out so nice, so here we go. Just going to put it around any way you want. Again, roots all in one piece. Can't beat that. And I love small projects because you get to move all the plants around. And that's nice. If you don't like it, take it out, put it somewhere else. It's as simple as that. Okay. And look at this with the purple. Ugh. Do you just love it or what? Now, I am going to pack it in kind of full, but I don't want to do it too much because if I do, then I won't have room to grow. I want it to have some room to grow. But I still want it to be full enough for my friend to appreciate. So that's going to go around and around, around and around 
coming around. And here we go. I'll do one more flower. One more. There we go. How pretty is that? And I'm going to use some of my little lacy flowers. How pretty. How pretty they are. All right. Sticking it in. Making sure that the roots are covered. Now, one thing I didn't say before is that you want to try to get all the air out of, excuse me, the soil so they have room to grow. And it's just fantastic. Look at that. Oh, I think I covered up that plant. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Don't hide. Don't hide. Don't hide your light under the bushel. Okay, how appropriate. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now look. How simple and beautiful is that? Now here, I have some extra room. And I have this plant over here. Wow, that's an old plant. You can tell because the roots are wrapped around. I don't need all that, but I'm going to cut this in half. And you could do that with your hands. Love getting dirty in the soil. Love it. Ugh. But look, it's okay because I have the roots. So what I'm going to do is next to this little white lace plant, I'm going to move this other one over, put that in, and there we go. How pretty is that? Just have to water it, and it's beautiful from any angle, from any side that you look at. Pretty. I think she's going to love it. I know she will. Okay, now she has three the most adorable little girls. And I know that they go on the Easter egg hunt, and they'll be getting lots and lots of candy. But I want them to have something that lasts a little longer. So what I'm going to make them is little terrariums out of these cute little Easter eggs that are usually used for the hunt with candy. But I'm going to make little terrariums and they don't have to water them. All they have to do is when they see that they're collecting the condensation and too wet, open them. And when they're ready to be, they're dried again, you close it. How simple is that? And that will make them think of me every time. Oh, Michelle, she's just the coolest. And I am. <laughs> so, this is one that I made that is certainly way too large to have the terrarium. But that's okay. Some people just like the plants. And these cute little, I made them into little pots. That cute. But you have to be careful how much you water those because there's no drainage. And here is one that's already made, ready to be terrarianized. Such a word? It's now. Got that from me. So, we're going to take one of these little shells from the egg hunting. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a little soil, or what I've done is I put a little soil around a third of the way up because I wanted to have some on the bottom. And let's take another plant we go those little red those little lacy ones I'm going to put it in take my finger so it just has a little bit of coverage and then I'm going to use soil to cover it up so cute I'm telling you these are so cute that you know what I think I might line them up on my windowsill for the month of April well it comes in March. So here we go. Look at that. That is so cute. That is so cute. Look, it looks like a little bonsai actually because it tilts to the side with its little white flowers. And here's the lid. Just cover it up. And there's your little terrarium. Oh, I cut one. I didn't cut it, but it came outside. Get in there. How cute is that? So, Enjoy spring, have a wonderful holiday season, 
and enjoy the bounty and all the flowers that are up and have a lovely, look how pretty those are, I really like them, have a lovely holiday. So this is Michelle from It's Our Turn Style, because we do it with style, with another Keeping It Simple Kiss Craft Project. Keeping it simple, sister. You like this? Easy to do craft? Subscribe to us on YouTube. You'll get all the different crafts, the cooking, the gardening, the designing, the blog, the photography. It's all here, baby. It's our turned out style on YouTube. Subscribe and like us on Facebook. It's, it's like a magazine waiting to unfold just for you. So take care. Again, Michelle from It's Our Turn That Style. Loving the bounty. Bye.